Okay, this is kind of a follow-up on the double amazing jewel thief circuit uh, and a follow-up to the thousand LED circuit. I got a few more on here, um, about 40 more. But what I want to draw attention to is the nano crystalline uh, amorphous core. These are about 60,000 permeability. I've got two of them on this circuit and one of these is going to this bank of 400 and this one's going to this bank of 400 and then these 240 LEDs are being uh, fired off of this little tiny wire off this uh, coil here and of course here's the, uh, the quad coil that I got a video out on uh, this is an AC LED tester um, the two LEDs are hooked opposing to one another so that if you get uh, a DC circuit only one will light if you get an AC circuit they will both light uh, something I found interesting on this air coil is and I don't know if you can see it in the camera there but just one wire these two LEDs are still lit up AC and I can touch the end of the wire here and they'll light. Or I can just clip it onto this, uh, clip, it, clip it onto this uh, aluminum foil here. It acts like an antenna, I guess. Um, the drawing for this circuit and the information concerning these high permeability cores, uh, you'll be able to find them below the video in the video description box. I'll have a link to our website uh, with the drawings for this circuit and for the information. On this particular demonstration um, this uh, original Double Amazing Jewel Thief coil that's got the two radio shaft magnets are not wired into this circuit. Neither are either one of these ferrite tube transformers. Um, you can see that the wires are disconnected. Uh, this one's still connected to the coil, but there's there's no wires coming off of here, uh, nor there. So there's just one wire hooked up there. So this coil is inactive. Um, this circuit, I did a little time test here a few days ago, and about the best I get out of a brand new El Cheapo battery is, is about three hours uh, with 1,040 LEDs. Now here is a, uh, an example of these nano crystalline cores. Uh, they're almost like a, a ceramic and this is how they come. They come with that thin film on them and it's actually it's two rings and they are uh, taped together. Anyway, I wanted to show this to you, uh, get it out to you. Oh, and the other thing I did here is I didn't know if it would help or not, but I wanted to get this number 12 house wire centered in the tube as, po as close as I could. So what I did is I took a, um, I don't remember what size this is, I think it's a quarter inch pipe. Uh, copper tubing and I had to put a little tape on it so that it, it it's a snug fit and then I found a smaller copper tubing uh, that fit inside of it and then of course the 12 gauge which which gets that centered in there pretty good it didn't seem to make any difference that I could tell uh, as far as power output or lighting LEDs uh, it was all about the same I'll go ahead and turn these lights out for a second. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. I mean, they are still pretty bright. Um, let me disconnect this. Maybe you can see it better now. And I only get this effect out of the air coil. I have never gotten it out of any one of the toroids. So, anyway, uh, 
like I said, go to our website, CapendrasWebsite.com, and uh, and I will post this on on there under Double Amazing Jewel Thief Circuit uh, follow up. Anyway, thank you for watching, and hope you come and visit us soon.